This town has rhythm and a song to sing. It sings of hiraith and hoyo, of longing and joy, of discovery. Embraced by a mountain range pushed up from the warm belly of the earth to cradle the town safely in its lap, where history and magic converge like the rivers Hondi and Usk. Kings have ridden and hidden here, here, in this gathering place of stories and storytellers, in Iron Age settlements and Roman forts, in Norman castles and priories, in the cool echoing beauty of the cathedral watched upon by gargoyles. They have traveled to this big little universe of a town named by King Brachan of Brycheiniog himself. Look closely, and you will see that the buildings are alive, even those who sleep, their eyes looking out, always watching through Tudor, Elizabethan and Georgian spectacles, their rooftops sitting like raised eyebrows in astonishment at the beauty that exists below them. A grand old duke will watch you as you go past St. Mary's Church Tower as she raises her arm heavenward, blessing this town. Stroll the Watton under the shade and protection of regimental lime trees through the Struet and its four-part harmony of coloured houses and you'll feel it too. Brecon's heartbeat accompanying you on your way. These roads and fields and rivers and mountains of ours are well trodden, beloved. The chapters of its history and heritage are bound tightly together in a storybook of its people. See all that the town is and has been, and you too will be part of a new chapter in the ever-changing story of Brecon.